How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today is the day after Thanksgiving as of the making of this video. So had a great meal yesterday, but that is not stopping me from continuing on with my European food tour in LA the very next day. So today I'm out here in Hollywood on Highland Avenue going to be exploring another interesting European restaurant. So today I'm going to be covering the country cuisine of England. That's right. So today I'm going to be trying British food. I've never had British food before. I don't know what a shepherd's pie tastes like or a beef wellington or things like that. So today I'm going to be discovering all this for the first time today. And uh, just to keep you, just to let you guys know that Los Angeles isn't really known that much for like certain European foods, you know, like Germany or England or Ireland. So it's really hard to find a really good British restaurant in Los Angeles. But I did hear of one that I think is the closest that you'll find in LA. Heard they got some awesome food at this restaurant called the Cat and Fiddle Pub and Restaurant, which has been here since 1982. So that's almost like a 30 year old restaurant. And a lot of people have been saying great things about their food, you know, tasty, authentic, and just really like a taste of England right here in Los Angeles. So if you guys want to see what British food looks like, especially here in LA, then I encourage you to stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see the overview of this amazing British food experience. And of course, if you're looking for a place like this in LA, then here's your spot right here. And also, if you're new to this channel, then please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can get these episodes on a weekly basis. And now I'm going to go in because they just opened and I'm going to get me some lunch right now. We opened in uh, 1982 and we started out with my mother-in-law's recipes and we are in our third location now. And I think the food is so special because of my chefs that have expounded on my mother-in-law's recipes. And of course she was English. And they, we've added more garlic, more onions, more fresh herbs, which definitely adds to the basic English dishes. Our, everything is homemade. We make our own bangers. We make our own shepherd's pie homemade mashed potatoes and cut chips. Come check it out. This is like a really cool interior design. Like when you walk in here from the entrance, you're gonna notice that it really looks like a British pub, like a great sense of escapism. Like all the designs like on the walls and the ornaments to the design of the bar, the tables. I mean, it really has like a British pub experience. Like as if you travel to like England and just hanging out at some local British pub. So definitely high marks on the design. Now, what is the food like? That's the question. Well, I do have some confidence that the food is great here because the customers said it's really good here. And also check this out, guys. It also was part of the Michelin Guide 2019. I heard it's like the only like bar that got like a Michelin um, recommendation in 2019. Isn't that so cool? That's assuring. We're gonna do something traditional on England. This is bangers and mash. Yes. So we, we make our own bangers. We don't buy them from another company. Uh-huh. And this is like fresh made over here. We're gonna grill both sides until you get nice and brown. Just sprinkle a little sparsely on top. And that's it. Already wrapped up on a puff pastry. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna brace it with a little egg wash on top. Okay. Just give me one second. So guys, this is the beef Wellington. Look at that. This is what it looks like before. It's cooked, so I'm assuming the beef is inside and then all that dough is on the outside. I prepare our egg wash, it's just egg and a little bit of milk. Okay, egg and milk for the egg wash, right? Yeah. On top of the beef wellington. We bake them there for at least 20 minutes. About 20, right? Yeah. Um, it's nice and brown, crispy. Uh, now we're gonna plate it. Okay. With, um, Carrot mashed potatoes and uh, and then satay spinach with garlic. So 
So I guess before I get started with my first dish, I wanna try some of this English tea, which is so exciting. And I'm just gonna pour some of that tea in here. And then also gotta pour a little bit of that milk in here as well. And of course, gotta finish it off with some of this honey in order to make it nice and sweet. Kind of like a sweet milk tea in many ways. I've had like the Asian version of that. Yes, oh yeah, first time trying British style tea in a British pub. I never thought I'd see the day, but there's always a first for everything, right? Mmm, has a nice milky taste to it. Oh, very good tea. And this one right here is their fish and chips, the famous beer battered fish. It's that one there, obviously. And I heard they got some of like the best fish and chips here. And these are the French fries and this is the mushy piece right over there. So traditionally when you eat the fish and chips, you're supposed to use some of this vinegar. It's kind of like a dark color, almost kind of like soy sauce it looks like. And also some ketchup, which is a little bit more American style, but you can do however way you want it. You can put it all on your fries, put some on your fish. And then of course, gotta have some of the ketchup as well. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh, baby. That is rocking. You see, you know why it's so good? I don't know if you guys have had like really good fish and chips before. There were some that I had that was just like okay, and then there was others that I had that I was like really good. And so far I can tell this is really good. Like inside the fish quality, very superb good fish quality, but then the batter, like this batter is amazing. It has like this really amazing like crispiness to it all around. I don't know how they do it, but it tastes so good though. Oh man. This is the shepherd's pie. You see that right there? So on top of it, I believe that's like some sort of a, like maybe like a potato crust that's on top of it. And then in the bottom is freshly ground lamb and beef. So the top is whipped potato and the bottom is some of that ground uh, lamb and beef mixture along with some of this gravy. Ah, oh. mm. oh dude, that is so good. Oh, they did the top it's like it tastes just like mashed potatoes like um, mashed potatoes that's kind of slightly you know with that baked type of a texture on top but the meat inside is like the magic beautiful really nice tasting nicely marinated ground meat inside of it i think i'm also going to have to put some of this gravy inside of it as well oh yeah with, with gravy or without the gravy, it's good all around. I've not had other shepherd's pie before in the past, so I can't tell the difference between this one and other places, but I can tell you, this is a good dish the way they make it here. It has so much flavor, it's delicious. So far, my impression of British food as made here by Cat and Fiddle, really good. And this one right here is their bangers and mash. So this is like the British version of sausages and mashed potatoes, I guess you would call it in some ways. These are the sausages right here with the unique spices and it's been grilled back there and then some caramelized onions in the bottom. And this is the mashed potatoes along with the gravy. And it comes with like the split pea. I believe it's like a pea mix. Mm. Oh, that is rocking. Mm. Wow, that's a good sausage. I like the texture of it. It's plump, it's well cooked, it's not dry at all. Nice caramelized onions that are on the bottom of this as well. It's really, oh, it's quite tasty. And this right here is their beef wellington. My first time having a beef wellington, how exciting. You see that? So that is the mashed potato with carrots, some of this uh, spinach, and this is the main attraction, the beef wellington itself. Look at that beautiful crusted exterior. It's been baked for close to 20 minutes and some gravy, oh yeah. I like the crispiness on the top. 
I, I can already feel it. It's like it cuts so easily. Oh. Mmm. Wow, holy smokes. Whoa, that's good. Man, that beef is like so tender inside. And there's even some sauteed mushrooms inside too. I didn't expect that. But I love the crust. It's like a pie crust that's on the outside almost. Very flaky. And this is the last one here. This is called the sticky toffee pudding. Isn't that interesting? A very popular dessert in England. It uh, has all this caramel sauce all over it. And that's the piece of cake that's right over there with some blueberries. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it melts in your mouth. It's like really warm. It's warm. It has a nice sponginess to it. I can kind of taste that date, kind of like fruity taste to the cake. And then that caramel glaze, just beautiful. And it's not too sweet though. It has a really nice, like, you know, like a sweet level to it because I don't really like my desserts way too sweet, especially cake. This has a really nice, like a sweetness balance to the whole thing. Huh. If I had to pick which one I really like the best out of all of them that I would really recommend, I would say that I'm torn between two of them. The first one is the Beef Wellington. Amazing. Just purely amazing. Just the softness of the beef, how easily it cuts through, and just the, the crust itself, which was also pretty great because it's like flaky and so soft as well. And then also another standout that I didn't expect was the fish and chips. Mind-blowing, especially the outside crusty or the crispy texture of the fish that beer battered so so good but everything that i got here i liked i there was nothing i did not like everything here was great so if you come here to this restaurant this is a place where you're going to get good british style food here in los angeles if you don't know any place else you got to come here it's been around here for a long time great staff you know everybody's so friendly so homey and um also, they do do like, you know, delivery and takeout as well. So there's a lot of different options of how you can get the food here. But I would say, you know, everything here is great. That's all I can say about that. So if you're looking for some good British style food here in Los Angeles, then Cat and Fiddle is really the place you got to be. All right, guys, before we close out the episode today, I want to give a shout out once again to Paula, the lovely founder here at a cat and fiddle in hollywood so if, if you come to this restaurant which i highly recommend you do because their food is really good look out for miss paula right here and look out for the staff and she's going to take really good care of you right paula totally absolutely no doubt all right awesome you hear that guys so anyways um like this video if you've enjoyed this video please comment and also please subscribe to this video. And also be sure to check out the other videos on the screen so that you can see some of the other European food videos I've done here in Los Angeles as well. So I hope you have a rocking day today and that you'll try some of this rocking food sometime soon. Great program.